Tours and Retail Therapy season for 2020 is in effect. Glad to be back. Kind of sad that the fishing season's over for us here in Boston, Massachusetts, at least most of us. It's too cold to be fishing. I know it's fall, but uh, it's time to snuggle up in front of the computer and get online and start ordering some supplies for next season. So, I got here my tackle boxes. These are Plano tackle boxes. This is the new Plano Slim Style tackle box I got not too long ago. And these are some standard 3700s which are actually labeled as Cabela's tackle boxes, but they're uh, Plano tackle boxes. And I have a finesse jig box here and a power jig box here. This one, as you can see, is for my crankbaits. Look at how neatly ordered. Ed saw this and he said, wow, look at how organized he is with his crankbaits. Because I like to be organized on the water. The more organized you are, makes you a better fisherman. Makes you fish faster and, and smarter. I know it sounds stupid, but it's true. Like, if you're in a tournament and you're not organized, that's going to screw you in the end. Even though we don't have tournament fish, I still like to be able to grab what I need quick, change my baits if I have to, and be back out in the water. Anyway, I take my organization seriously. So I was at ICAST 2019 this year, and I went to Plano's booth. They have a new tackle box series called the Plano Edge. Right here, buddy. Plano Edge. Cool colors, great design. I saw these, and I took a close look at them, and I'm like, yep, that's a game changer. I need these new boxes in my life. So as a fanatic, and I know some of you out there are fanatics about your tackle organization. You can see the label system I have here and everything. I carry about 20 pounds of tackle with me on the boat every time we go fishing. So I got a lot of these boxes, or a lot of the older boxes. And uh, when I saw these, I was like, wow, a chance to be even more organized. You know, uh, I had an issue not too long ago in my terminal tackle box. I had a brand spanking new package of uh, trapper tackle hooks, like 20 of them or 25 of them. And somehow some moisture got into my tackle box, into that little sealed bag and rusted like a third of my hooks. So I had to get rid of a third of my hooks. I'm like, how the hell did this happen? And in these standard, these standard tackle boxes, they're not built that well. They don't have a seal. So moisture can get in here and start rusting your hooks. Plano solved all those problems. Now I know some of this technology has already existed, uh, but the way they did it with Plano Edge was much better. So let's go over some of the features. Plano Edge, it's got an easy labeling system built in. So I'm still probably going to use my label maker instead of writing on this. So I'm just make, you know, use my label maker and stick it here, which is great. But they have a location to label your boxes. So when you're sticking them up in your, in your, in your boat or your tackle bag or whatever, you know what you're grabbing. It has a see-through top. It's a very clear top. It's not milky or anything like these. This is a nice, clear, gin clear finish so you can see your tackle and know that this is the right tackle box when you grab it. Okay, they have this technology they've used on other boxes called Restrictor. And what Restrictor does is it blocks rust five times longer than the competitive boxes out there. There's other boxes, there's other great tackle boxes out there. Uh, Bubba likes Flambeau, you know, he goes the uh, Mike Iaconelli route. But uh, I've been a big fan of Plano since I was a kid, so the Restrictor. This is what I needed when that water got into my old tackle box and ruined up all my hooks. I needed a restrictor. It actually blocks rust. It uses this technology called a volatile corrosion inhibitor, VCI. And whatever it is, I don't know if it's, it's like a chemical or something that they mold into the plastic that prevents the rust from continuing to grow. Uh, dry, lock, dry lock seal. So dry lock isn't something new. Uh, these things have a dry lock seal, so you take this off, put it back on, you close it, you know that's locked. There's no water that's going to get in here. But if water does get in here, they got this thing called a water wick that's inside. Water wick, all it is is a silica gel. You know, you've seen silica gel in the sneaker boxes and a lot of stuff you buy. It absorbs the moisture. It's just a little bag of those little balls. They put it inside this little plastic container here and it will absorb any additional moisture if you get it inside the box. It will absorb it. It's cool, right? And uh, 
This right here is the jig box. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer these jigs from my power jig and my finesse jig tackle box into this new one. I'm going to do it live. I also was like, I already got a bunch of 3,700 plano boxes. I don't need any more. I'm not wasting any more money on plano boxes. This is a game changer. And I know some of you guys out there will know what I'm talking about when I say game changer. This is a game changer. I just got to figure out how to how to use this now because you slide it in there. I don't know if the hook should be down or up. I'm going to put them down for safety. But as I'm talking to you, I'm going to slide all these jigs in here. And then I'm going to be re reorganized as far as all my jigs go. And there's enough slots in here where I could put my power jigs and my finesse jigs and my swim jigs into the same tackle box. Because the way this is designed is it provides more space for me to organize. And I can even, some of them have trailers on them. I don't mind that. It just saves me the trouble of putting the trailer on <laughs> at, at another time. So I'm going to slide these in here. And I got a lot of these jigs in here. Big ones, small ones. I got a couple of one ounces in here. But then I can just go in here and grab them and rig them up and be ready to fish. And I'm just going to throw all these in here. I'm going to slide them all in here. They got these little holders that hold it in and I can keep the hooks down. And the great thing about these little slots is, I've, I don't know if you've ever seen Ed's tackle boxes. Ed puts a lot of tackle in his planos. And it gets to the point where like, all his crankbaits and all his jigs are all overlapping each other, so you gotta loosen them up and you gotta take the hooks and unwrap them just to get one crankbait out of the box. Same goes for the jigs. And I think we've all been through that just because of what we had to deal with, but this system here allows me to neatly organize stuff. I don't know if this was made for finesse jigs. These things are just standing up on their head. So I gotta get it around the rubber neck so it stays in there tight. There we go. There's a little rubber ring that holds the skirt. That's what you want to put in there. So it stays tight and doesn't flop forward. I know you can't see this right now, but I'm gonna, when I'm done, which is gonna be in a few minutes here, I'm gonna show you how I took two, now let's see, this trailer is a little bit too big. So I'm going to take this trailer off. Okay, put that in there. And the reason why I'm doing this live is because I want you to see how easy it is, but I also want you to see how I am downsizing from two tackle boxes to one tackle box. Or two planos to one plano. So here's my finesse, the rest of my finesse jigs. Ba boom. Ba boom. I'm just sliding them on in. And all I have to do is look, I see the color I want, and I grab it and I can take it out. I'm not organizing by color or anything like that. I don't think it's necessary. But I am keeping the finesse jigs together and the power jigs together. Game changer, folks. They make big jokes about game changer at this year's ICAST, but when you got something like this, it's clearly a game changer. So, now, I know that these jig boxes I have also have trailers in them. I keep the trailers in with the plastics, but now I can take all the trailers from this box and all the trailers from this box and put it in one box. Much better work. And the great thing is, I can even take, I think I have a chatterbait in here. I have a chatterbait. Okay, so this thing's made for swim jigs and chatterbaits. I'm gonna stick the chatterbait in there. And I can do a whole lineup 
What the heck is that? Chatterbaits inside here. So that's just one. I have others I'll put in here. But now I'm going to close it. Boom. Oh, I need to take this off. I got to take the edge plastic off. There we go. Take the edge plastic off. I like this. Boom. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Okay. Beautiful. They're in there nice and tight and organized. This is now my jig tackle box. I'm going to create a new label and put it here. Boom. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the crankbaits. So I'm going to take this plastic out first. Now the difference between this one and the crankbait one they have this thing called crankbait catcher. So if you look closely, it's just a bunch of these little plastic teeth in here. It might be rubber. No, it's plastic. Soft plastic. You can see it still, has got, it still has the water work in there. It's got all these soft plastic teeth in here. So now, this is made for small crankbaits. So I'm not going to take a huge, gigantic, this is an XD8. Okay, that's a big crankbait. That's not going in there. They have another new edge tackle box for big crankbaits. I'm only going to put my smaller ones in here. So what's great about this is you slide the crankbaits in between these little teeth. Now, I've seen pictures of it. I've never done this. This is the first time I'm doing it, so I'm just going to start sliding them in here. And hope, hopefully this will work out. My big O's. They kind of slip up a little bit. That's interesting. And you put these things down, you put these in with the hooks down so that you never have to worry about accidentally piercing yourself with the crankbait hook when you're taking these suckers out of your tackle box. Now the ones with the big lips they don't seem to work too well. That's an issue. Square bills, they're fine. But, okay, what I'm already noticing about this thing is these things are sliding up. I don't like that. I guess there's some there's a break-in period with this, but I don't like that they're sliding up and not staying in place. So that's that's an issue. And this is this is what happens when you do something live. You see pictures of it, you see video, but when you actually get it and you do it live instead of doing it and then doing a video and having to try to explain people what's going on. There you go. This is really weird. Look at it. It's just, I wish you could see this. So these things, they're not staying down. So I'm trying to get these suckers in here and they keep crawling out. So, it's almost like they're alive. So there's obviously some, some type of technique to get these in here and get them to stay without them slipping up. And I don't know how to do it. So, I'm going to work with this. I, I have to be doing something wrong because I know when I saw the picture, I even think they had video of somebody putting these crankbaits in here and they sat in there perfectly. Considering the price of these, they're pretty high, some of them. But some of, the, some of these new units are $49.99. So if you're serious about change, uh, you know, getting new tackle, you're going you're gonna to pay a premium for these. So you need, they have to work. You know? So these big O's are just, they're just crawling out. I mean, this is, this is, like, look at this. They're all crawling out of the box. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm going to have to send an email to Plano about that. Because the one I saw, they were just bloop, 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 all just sitting there, and they didn't pop out. So I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong. I don't get it. 
This is disappointing. You saw how happy I was at the start of this video. This, this is disappointing. Because the crankbait thing is huge for me because I hate using this for crankbaits. Do you just have to break it in? Do you have to keep pushing them down until they get stuck? Am I not pushing them down hard enough? I don't know what it is. These things are just sliding out of here. That's annoying. I have to watch it live. Let's see if they keep going. Yep, they're still going. Oh, did they stop now? I wonder if you just gotta work them in a little bit. Oh, one's coming up. It's coming up. Came up. Pushing back down. Okay, that's strange. Anyway, these are supposed to sit here perfectly, but they're not. They're slowly sliding up. I can only imagine once you have these in here and you're on the water and you open this up. Look at this. See it sliding up? Boom. Slid up. <laughs> so you open this up when you're on the water and then they all just pop up. And the thing is, there's enough clearance inside here that they can still pop up. I'm afraid if I turn it upside down, they fall out of their slots. But actually, they're staying in the slots. That's not too bad. So I'm wondering if you just got to work them in and out a little bit. I will definitely ask Plano about that. But I'm going to finish adding these crankbacks here. And then when I hear, hear back from Plano, I'll post an update about that. So I'll put all these suckers in here, and then I'll close it up just so you can see what it looks like. I have a couple more. And for the larger crankbaits, they have a taller box, and you just stick them in with their head poking out, with the bill poking out, and you can just grab them by the bill. So it's really simple. But see, ones like these with, this, with the big bill doesn't really work well in here. I mean, you can get them in, but the big bill just will not stay down. So you got to put it at an angle. This is very interesting. And quite comical as I watch these things pop out. So, let's see here. We got some lipless crankbaits. I'll throw those in there. The jig just worked perfectly. The one with the jigs, just everything worked the way I wanted it to, but this one's just giving me a pain in the ass. So the lipless will obviously stay in there because they're a lot thinner. So it works well with the lipless crankbaits. So I'll stick a couple of those in there. I'll mush these back down and then I'll close it up. So there it is. There's my crankbaits. <laughs> I'm going to work with this for now, but I have questions. But as you can see, if I could really put these in here and get them the way I want to, I can get my entire set of crankbaits in here. And then when I get the large crankbait box, I can put my super huge crankbaits and my deep divers in that box. And then I can use this slim one for something else. Now they have they have them for everything. They have one for spinner baits and and, and uh, uh, with different weight baits and stuff like that. But they have uh, the terminal tackle one with little teeny compartments. The big issue, big issue with terminal tackle is that the hook, hooks like to hop from one section over to the next or slide underneath the dividers. Speaking of the dividers, they're pre-cut now, so you don't have to go crazy cutting dividers when you get your new Plano boxes like you used to. All the dividers are pre-cut and they slip right in. So that, that's another good thing about it. Um, Price-wise, I don't have it on me now, but I know there are certain ones that are $49.99. There are others that are like $29.99. I'll put those in the description. I'll put a link to them. Uh, they are available at Tackle Warehouse right now. Some of them are on back order, but you can see all the pricing there. I love, I can tell you, I really, really love the jig box. I'm still on the fence about the crankbait box. I will be getting the terminal tackle 
and the large crankbait box in for the uh, unboxing. I'm going to do the Tackle Warehouse unboxing, so I'll let you know how those boxes are. So I had an epiphany uh, last night after I finished that video. This is going to be an addendum to the video that I'm, that I'm making. Look at these colors seem off. Anyway, I decided to go and watch a couple videos on this. Nobody that was doing reviews on this could show me what I wanted to see. But I actually went to Plano and looked at the item on its sale page. And the way these work is you're just supposed to put the tail end in. Put the tail end and the head sticks up a little bit. So, as you can see, with the exception of this one, I don't know why this one's sliding up. But, I have the tail end in and the heads are kind of sticking up. You just place them in there. You don't have to shove them in. So, that one. This one, this one's weird. It's like really slippery. But um, yeah, so you put the th even even the ones with the big lips, you just slow it, slide it in enough where it's in there, and that's it. And the head's gonna stick up a little bit. Yeah, I guess it makes you just supposed to grab the lip, and then when you're done, you just put it back in there, and that's that. Like these these ones here, I could probably put those up a little bit higher, but. You can see what I'm getting at here. You know, boom, 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 boom. So that's what I had to figure out. I, did, I didn't even have to, I didn't even have to write or call Plano to figure this out. I just thought about it. I looked, I saw the picture and yeah. Now the in the big box for the, the giant ones, you stick them in straight up and down. These obviously, it's not that deep, so you just, you just place them in there and that's that. And then you close the box, the box will push down on them and that's it. And, and they're not going to move in. So there it goes, the crankbait box. Now obviously for things like, uh, as I said, lipless crankbaits or hard jerk baits, you don't have to worry about that. You just slide them in. You don't have to worry about the head sticking up or anything like that. But with the crankbaits, the heads stick up. And that's how it works. So, boom. Now I'm satisfied with this box. I'll see you on the next video.